Welcome to Closing the Loop, presented by Republic Services. You know, every person in the United States generates almost five pounds of solid waste every day. Recycling has become a vital part of managing this growing problem. Energy costs are on the rise, landfill space is being consumed, and environmental issues remain a priority. That's why Republic Services, one of the largest solid waste management companies in North Texas, is committed to collecting, processing, and disposing of waste efficiently, effectively, and in a manner that emphasizes sustainability and the conservation of natural resources. Republic Services and Allied Waste Industries, two industry innovators, are now one environmental leader that process nearly two million tons of recyclable commodities each year. They also collect multiple commodity grades, such as corrugated cardboard, old newspaper, office waste, aluminum cans, glass, many types of plastic, and much more. Many of these can be co-mingled at our customers' locations to provide a user-friendly single-stream recycling program, allowing all recyclables to be mixed in one container and set out for collection. Republic Services offers multiple collection programs that include single stream collection, commercial and industrial collection, and customized waste paper collection. Each of these programs not only returns valuable secondary materials into the industrial process as raw material, but they also reduce the amount of waste that is sent to landfills. Republic's many recycling facilities offer material collection and reclamation services and educational programs in many markets. Atlas Copco Drilling Solutions builds large equipment for the construction and mining industry. The waste that leaves here gets reported on a Atlas Copco Group sustainability database. This data is then benchmarked with other companies within our business areas. We learned that we had a very large amount of waste. I contacted Allied Waste and had a meeting with them to learn what we are doing with our materials and what are our options. This training process, our internal segregation, and a joint effort at building a reporting data system that is used between Allied Waste and Atlas Copco has resulted in the movement of over 600 tons of landfill material into recycle operations. Allied Waste has a state-of-the-art recycling center which helps fossil lower operating costs. The recycling, recycling cardboard benefits the environment by keeping this volume out of the landfills and is used to make new corrugated material. The Material Recovery Facility, or MRF as it's known in the industry, located in Plano, Texas, is one of two strategically placed facilities within the DFW Metroplex. Residential single-stream recycling material collected by the automated trucks is brought to the Republic Waste MRF, weighed and documented to determine the tons being diverted from the waste stream, then dropped on the tipping floor for processing over the newly modified single-stream sorting system, which features the latest advancements in sorting and processing technology. The first step is a large feeding container at the start of the single-stream system. This container has a heavy-duty steel conveyor in the bottom that moves material forward toward a high-speed drum. No, not that kind of drum. This drum peels a thin layer of material off of the pile that is in the container and propels the material over the drum and onto the inclining conveyor. From the drum feeder, the material flows upward to the first pre-sort station. This is a sort station for two to three sorters to remove large trash items and any stringy material by hand sorting. Items removed include large trash items mistakenly put in the stream that would hurt the system, like large pieces of wood, concrete, or steel, engine parts, and even yard waste, as well as stringy materials like plastic film, garden hoses, Christmas lights, or even rope. From this first pre-sort, the material drops onto an old corrugated cardboard screen, or what's called an OCC screen. The bulk handling OCC screen is a size separation screen with discs rotating over large shafts, which bounce and flip the material, allowing large cardboard material to flow over the screen to be baled. All of the other stream material falls through the screen 
and is sent across the plant for further processing at the second pre-sort station. This is a sort station for four sorters to hand sort small trash items, stringy materials, and any cardboard that didn't make it over the OCC screen. This sorting conveyor is equipped with variable speed control and can travel upwards of 300 feet per minute. Granted that won't win a gold medal in the 100 yard dash, but the higher belt speed means the volume of material can be spread out better across the sorting belt to allow these quick-handed sorters to more easily see and pick out any contaminants. From this second pre-sort station, the material drops onto the ONP or the old news print screen. The material that goes over the top deck, which is mostly old newspaper, is conveyed to a quality control sort line, which is staffed with a few quality control sorters, who hand sort any non-newspaper items such as cardboard, trash, and containers. The sorted end product flows off the end of the sorting conveyor and into a bunker for baling. The material that falls through or off the back of the ONP screen is then conveyed to a bulk handling debris roll screen. A large percentage of shredded paper, bottle caps, dirt and debris is screened so that it falls into an open container just below. The material that makes it over the debris roll screen is conveyed to a small sorting station for cardboard and trash pre-sorting as the material flows to the bulk handling ONP screen. Two-dimensional fiber, like old newsprint, travels up and over the screen while the remaining small mixed paper, containers, and any remaining finds fall through or off the back of this screen. The material that goes over the bulk handling screen is still mostly old newsprint with a little contamination. It drops onto a separate quality control sort line where workers hand sort items like cardboard, trash, and containers. These items are dropped into bunkers below the sorting platform. The clean newspaper flows off the end of the sorting conveyor and into the bunker with the other newspaper. The collected paper is wrapped in tight bales and transported to a paper mill where it will be recycled into new paper. Then the paper will be printed or made into new products such as envelopes, paper bags, or boxes. The other material that is separated out by the bulk handling OMP screen is transferred via conveyor to the French banana screen which got its name from its shape, it kind of looks like a banana, and where it was first installed, which would be, yeah, you guessed it, France. This long transfer conveyor is equipped with a large overhead cross belt magnet to remove all of the steel cans from the remaining stream. This powerful magnet lifts the steel cans from the transfer conveyor and discharges them into a bunker for bailing. These cans are then sent to a mill and recycled into material like reinforcing bars for concrete. All of the material is conveyed to this paper commingled separation or French screen, which is a star screen, so called because of its star shaped rubber discs. This screen has four separate variable speed motors, a very steep angle, and tight spacing that is less than two inches. The effects of gravity from the steep angle, along with the tight spacing and an integrated air system, combine to successfully separate the remaining small paper from the containers. Two-dimensional objects like small mixed paper products stick to the stars of the French screen and are propelled forward over the screen to a small quality control sorting conveyor. Here a worker captures any flat plastic containers from the mixed paper stream and drops them into a chute bound for the container line. Smaller items such as grit, debris, and crushed cans fall through the screen and combine with the bottles and other containers being conveyed to the optical sorter. This additional screen removes the remainder of the small finds, the glass, the shredded paper, and the dirt, and prepares the commingled material for the optical sorter. The remaining material flowing over the French screen is inclined back upward to the optical sorter. The material drops onto a feeding conveyor that is traveling at nearly 600 feet per minute so as to spread the material into a single layer for proper presentation to the optical sorter. The material is conveyed under a near-infrared scanner that optically identifies PET, or polyethylene terephthalate, uh, polyethylene terephthalate, hmm. it's called plastic. That's how you and I know it. 
It identifies the plastic from the remainder of the co-mingled stream and sends a signal to eject the PET via quickly firing high-powered air jets. The ejected plastic is discharged directly into a storage bin for bailing. This plastic becomes material for manufacturing many products like, say, this kayak. Everything the optical sorter did not eject, such as all the remaining material including the non-ejected plastic, aluminum cans, trash, non-recyclables, and residue, is transferred onto one last hand sorting. There are two grades of high-density polyethylene or HDPE plastic, natural like milk cartons and colored like orange juice jugs. These materials are sorted into their proper bunkers. The material is then conveyed to the final step in the single stream system, the eddy current. Finally, the last step in the process separates aluminum. Using reverse polarity, the eddy current propels aluminum cans into a bunker for bailing. Aluminum is one of the most successfully recycled materials. It can be made into more cans or other products like this chair. The remaining non-aluminum materials fall off into the residue bunker. Republic is committed to promoting sustainability and to preserving natural resources by providing superior technology and exceptional customer service. The Republic Waste Material Recovery Facility is an integral part of the complete range of services they provide. Reclaiming materials in this facility is one important step in closing the loop.